Here we go. Saw a slack line, caught a fish. Whoa, a nice little head shake right there. He's not too far out. Whoa, look at that. Look at that nice little cat. Here we go. Before I start cooking, I want to pick some small leaves off this plant here. This plant is called pineapple sage. It's in my garden. It's one of my favorite uh, herbs that I have growing back here. This is what we're going to use today. All right, there's my pineapple sage. It's been uh, washed and rinsed. It's about like a good little handful. I'm going to bunch this up nice and tight. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to start chopping it finely. All right, now I'm going to bunch it up again. I'm going to do that several times to where it's really nice and fine little pieces. There we go. That's about what I want. This stuff is very aromatic. I, I just love the way it smells. Now, <clears throat> here's my channel cat that you saw me catch earlier. I caught this a few days ago. It, it's been in the freezer. I've just uh, dropped it earlier and thawed it. So I'm not actually going to cook this. I'm a little pressed for time. Someone uh, just got a hold of me. I'm about to run out and go fish. So what I want to do is I want to marinate this. I got some uh, olive oil right up here. I'm going to pour a good amount in there. Get it all nice and moved around. I'm going to take this handful of herbs, put in there, get it all off my cutting board, get it nice and stuffed in there. Now I want to... Uh, Put a little bit of kosher salt in here and I might put a, a, a clove of garlic in there. I'm going to mince it. Let me actually get to that. All right, I didn't actually have the garlic ready. <laughs> so here we go. I put it in my press and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit in there. Sometimes I'll bunch this back up in my press and get more to come out. There we go. I'm going to take my knife, run it along there, get that off there. And then I'm actually going to pull what's left out of the uh, press and put it in the bag. This is going to come out good. I just don't have time to cook this right now so I'm gonna let it marinate I'm gonna roll this around I'll put it in the fridge and cook it when I get back hopefully I have a, a good fishing session later uh, later on all right it's around lunchtime right now when I got home last night I was so tired after I did a few things, I just passed out hard. So I am going to make this pineapple sage catfish for lunch. The other day on another video, another catch and cook video, a longtime fan asked, where are the taters? They're right there. So because he asked, I'm gonna do a tater dish. I'm gonna roast these potatoes and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be cool. So I I'm just cutting them in about that size. I'm not being like exact. And I will finish doing them all about that size or somewhere near bouts. All right, I'm done cutting these potatoes. Now I'm going to uh, drizzle oil in there a bit. That's olive oil, in case you were wondering. Now I'm going to put some of this, it's blackening spice. I'm going to be quite generous with it too. Now I'm going to put some black pepper in there. Got the window open, that 
the wind's kind of blowing that pepper all over the place and I'm going to put some sea salt in there too just just to my liking to my taste and you should do these things to your taste too I like things kind of spicy so as you see I'm turning this around I want to get it all shooken up and spiced I tell you what I just don't like the look of that let's put a little more of this in there Oh, come out of there. Damn it. Now that looks pretty good. Get that all nice and shooken up. Okay, now to put them on the roasting pan. There we go, got to get them nice and even. Can't have them all piled up on each other. This sheet is just big enough to do two potatoes worth of roast potatoes. One of my favorite uh, things in my kitchen, this old uh, metal plate. And I'm gonna take what's left of the oil, drizzle it around, because it's got a lot of flavor in it. You see all that? in there. There's a lot of flavor is stuck in there. You just don't want to come out of there. I'm going to try to get it to one place with my fingers. Everybody loves it when I use my fingers. Not everybody. Some women are appalled by me eating with my hands. But, whatever. I'm going to shut this window. And... There we go. I'm going to put a little more spice on that. Now that looks overdone. I'm going to enjoy this. Alright, it's time to put these in the oven. I've preheated my oven to 450. Most recipes for this will tell you 20 minutes, but all ovens are different. My oven seems to take just a little longer. I just want them a bit crispy and well done. So. We'll say 20 minutes, but I guarantee it's going to take a little longer with my oven. Okay, I've warmed my pan up to medium. That's what I'm going to cook this on. I might reduce the heat. Oh, here, here we go. I think them, uh, them fillets sitting in there overnight is going to make them just pop with flavor. So I, yeah, like I was saying, I might reduce the heat during cooking if I feel like it's going too fast because I don't want to cook these too fast. Well, we got lots of flavor stuck in that bag. We got to get it out. So to do that, we're going to turn this bag inside out. And again, I'm going to use my hands to get that flavor off there and into my pan. Yeah, I washed my hands before I did this too. So, <laughs> But, you know, do whatever you want to. I'm not eating your food. That is, if you didn't wash your hands. Just don't tell me about it. There we go. As you saw, I didn't add any oil to the pan. There was no need to. There's plenty of oil already on the fish. Now I'm just going to shake this pan around and get the whole pan oiled real good. And it's already there. And I don't know if you can see, but we're already starting to get some uh, convection coming up off that. All right, I can't tell you exactly how long this is gonna take because I'm cooking this by sight, but I could guess that it's probably, at, at my heat that I'm using, it's probably gonna be about five minutes per side. I am waiting for it to wildly boil and lots of steam to come off before I flip. So I'm not really timing this. I, I tend to cook by uh, <laughs> sight or, you know, I guess at it. But it smells good. This is going to be a really good dish, I guarantee. Oh man, I didn't mean to say that. Now I sound like uh, Justin. You know that guy? So yeah, I'm doing this periodically too. Get it moving around in there. Get that flavor spread. And it helps it cook a little better. 
Okay, I'd say that it's ready to flip. I basically want to come on. Want to get it to where it's just almost about to fall apart, but not quite there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this heat just a little bit and just let that last side simmer and cook a little slower than the first side. Okay, this is pretty much done, but the potatoes are not. So what I'm going to do is I am going to flip back the way I started, check it around, and then extremely reduce my heat. I'm going to go to low. It actually says low on the dial. So I just want to keep it warm because i got to wait for the potatoes now. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Let me tell you, it smells great. Fish is done. Potatoes are done. Now it's time to put them on a plate. There we go. Here, this is even better. <laughs> I've added a, an overdose of mayo on top to dip my potatoes in. I thought about flavoring that mayo, but those potatoes have plenty of flavor on them already. So that's going to be awesome. Now let's sit down and eat some lunch. Whoa! Man, looks good. Let's give it a try. Mm. The potatoes are awesome. It was the first time. They're so good. It's the first time I've used uh, blackening spices on uh, potatoes, and it's a good idea. I know now. All right, let's see how the fish turned out. Mmm. That's pretty good. A lot of people like to cook fish with sage. This has a sage flavor to it, but a little bit of a mild pineapple fruity flavor. But don't be fooled. It doesn't necessarily taste full-on pineapple when you smell this stuff when you're picking it it smells more like like pineapple chewing gum like kind of a fake pineapple smell and then the flavor is like slightly pineapple-y but not like eating a fresh pineapple it's more like reminiscent of it mmm man I can taste the garlic that I used in my marinade and I can taste the olive oil, but the olive oil is not overpowering. It's that slightly fruity, sagey flavor that uh, is dominant of the fish. And then these are pretty good. Mm. Whoa. Oh, I'm going to have to say see you next time because I'm going to take my time enjoying this lunch. All right. See you next time.